In a dramatic escalation of tensions, Iran fired a barrage of at least 180 missiles at Israel. This unprecedented attack, launched on date, sent shockwaves through the region and beyond. It marked a significant turning point in the long-standing conflict between the two nations. The missile barrage was widely seen as a direct response to recent Israeli airstrikes on Hezbollah positions in Lebanon. The sheer scale of the attack was alarming. Never before had Iran launched such a large-scale missile assault on Israeli territory. The missiles, believed to be mostly short and medium-range ballistic missiles, targeted areas in central and southern Israel. This included densely populated cities and critical infrastructure, raising fears of widespread casualties and damage. The Iranian government claimed responsibility for the attack, framing it as retaliation for Israel's aggression against its allies in the region. In a televised address, a high-ranking Iranian official declared that the missile strikes were a message to Israel and its supporters that Iran would not hesitate to defend its interests. The international community reacted with alarm and condemnation, urging both sides to exercise restraint and prevent a further escalation of violence. The United Nations Security Council convened an emergency meeting to address the crisis. Despite the intensity of the Iranian missile barrage, initial reports indicated a relatively limited impact on Israeli soil. Israel's sophisticated Iron Dome missile defense system, combined with early warning systems and bomb shelters, proved effective in intercepting a significant number of the incoming projectiles. The Iron Dome system, developed with US assistance, has been instrumental in mitigating the impact of missile attacks on Israel in recent years. However, some of the Iranian missiles did manage to penetrate Israeli defenses, striking areas in central and southern Israel. While there were no reports of fatalities, several injuries were reported and some infrastructure damage was sustained. The attacks caused widespread panic and disruption to daily life in the targeted areas. Schools and businesses were closed and residents were urged to remain in or near bomb shelters. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed the nation shortly after the attacks, condemning Iran's actions as an act of war and vowing a swift and forceful response. He emphasized that Israel would not tolerate any attacks on its sovereignty and would take all necessary measures to defend its citizens. True to his word, Netanyahu ordered immediate retaliatory strikes against Iranian targets in Syria. Israeli warplanes carried out airstrikes on Iranian military facilities and weapons depots in Syria, aiming to degrade Iran's military capabilities and deter future attacks. The strikes were part of Israel's long-standing policy of actively targeting Iranian entrenchment in Syria, which it views as a direct threat to its security. The international community responded to the Iranian missile attack with swift and widespread condemnation. World leaders expressed grave concerns over the dangerous escalation of violence and called for restraint from both sides. The United Nations Security Council held an emergency meeting to address the crisis, with member states urging a de-escalation of tensions and a return to dialogue. The United States, a staunch ally of Israel, expressed unwavering support for Israel's right to self-defense. U.S. President Joe Biden issued a statement condemning the Iranian attack in the strongest possible terms, affirming that the United States stood shoulder to shoulder with Israel. He also reiterated the United States' commitment to Israel's security and its right to defend itself against any aggression. European leaders echoed these sentiments, condemning the Iranian missile attacks as a reckless and dangerous act that threatened regional stability. They urged Iran to cease its provocative actions and engage in meaningful dialogue to de-escalate the situation. Russia, while acknowledging Israel's right to defend itself, also called for restraint from all sides. Russian officials expressed concern over the risk of a wider conflict and urged a diplomatic solution to the crisis. The recent missile exchange between Iran and Israel is the latest chapter in a long and bitter conflict that has shaped the Middle East for decades. The roots of this animosity run deep, entangled in a complex web of historical grievances, geopolitical rivalries and ideological clashes. The 1979 Iranian Revolution marked a turning point in relations between the two countries. The overthrow of the US-backed Shah and the rise of the Islamic Republic, led by Ayatollah Khomeini, ushered in an era of open hostility towards Israel. 
The new Iranian regime viewed Israel as an illegitimate state and a symbol of Western imperialism in the region. Iran's support for Palestinian militant groups, including Hamas and Hezbollah, further inflamed tensions with Israel. Iran views these groups as legitimate resistance movements fighting against Israeli occupation, while Israel considers them terrorist organizations. Iran's provision of financial, military and logistical support to these groups has been a major source of friction with Israel. The Iranian nuclear program has also been a major point of contention between the two countries. Israel views Iran's nuclear ambitions as an existential threat, fearing that Iran seeks to develop nuclear weapons that could be used to target it. Iran maintains that its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes only, but Israel remains unconvinced. Section 5. Hezbollah, a proxy in the crosshairs. Hezbollah, a powerful Iran-backed Shiite militant group based in Lebanon, plays a pivotal role in the escalating conflict between Israel and Iran. Founded in the 1980s with Iranian support, Hezbollah has evolved into a formidable force in Lebanon. Israel views Hezbollah as an Iranian proxy, acting as Tehran's arm in the region to threaten its security. Hezbollah has been involved in numerous attacks on Israel over the years. Iran provides Hezbollah with extensive financial, military and logistical support. Hezbollah's arsenal includes thousands of rockets and missiles capable of reaching deep into Israeli territory. In Section 6, the US role a balancing act. The United States, a staunch ally of Israel and a key player in the Middle East, faces a delicate balancing act as it navigates the escalating conflict between Israel and Iran. The United States has long sought to contain Iranian influence in the region and prevent it from acquiring nuclear weapons. The US provides Israel with billions of dollars in military aid annually, making it one of the largest recipients of US foreign aid. This aid includes advanced weaponry, intelligence sharing and joint military exercises. The United States also frequently uses its diplomatic clout at the United Nations and other international forums to defend Israel from criticism and shield it from sanctions. However, the United States also recognizes the need to prevent a wider regional conflict and to pursue diplomatic solutions to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Biden administration has expressed a willingness to re-engage with Iran diplomatically and revive the 2015 nuclear deal which the Trump administration withdrew from. The deal, known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, placed limits on Iran's nuclear program in exchange for the lifting of sanctions. The Biden administration's efforts to revive the JCPOA have been met with resistance from Israel, which views the deal as flawed and insufficient to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. Israel has also been critical of the Biden administration's decision to remove the Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen from the US list of terrorist organizations. Section 7 Global Implications from Energy to Geopolitics The escalating conflict between Israel and Iran has far-reaching global implications extending beyond the immediate region. The conflict has the potential to destabilize the already volatile Middle East, disrupt global energy markets and escalate geopolitical tensions between major world powers. One of the most significant global implications of the conflict is the potential disruption to energy supplies. The Strait of Hormuz a narrow waterway between Iran and Oman is a crucial choke point for global oil shipments. Iran has threatened to close the Strait of Hormuz in retaliation for sanctions or military action against it, which could have a devastating impact on global oil prices and the global economy. The conflict also has the potential to escalate geopolitical tensions between major world powers. The United States and its allies in Europe view Iran as a destabilizing force in the region, while Russia and China have closer ties with Iran. The conflict could lead to a hardening of positions between these powers and make it more difficult to address other global challenges, such as climate change and pandemics. Furthermore, the conflict could exacerbate sectarian tensions in the Middle East. Iran is a predominantly Shia Muslim country, while many of its regional rivals, including Saudi Arabia and Israel, are predominantly Sunni Muslim. The conflict could inflame sectarian tensions and lead to increased violence between different religious groups in the region. Diplomacy, dialogue, de-escalation, the escalating conflict between Israel and Iran threatens global security. Diplomacy and dialogue are essential to finding a peaceful resolution. 
International Organization.